great evening, well organized. The speaker was brilliant. He was very factual, humorous and to the point. As a CFO, I think I've learned a lot of tricks in the trade and hope to use some of his tips in coming weeks and months. Sometimes we get lost in the detail and I, and I guess that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about just doing things differently for the first time. The missing link that I find with CFOs is you sometimes forget how clever you are because what you do to you is normal. What you do is common sense and you just find it frustrating when slower idiots like me don't see the commercial argument. So you just go roll your eyes and then just keep sending those memos, keep sending those emails and hope that the penny drops. But the power of what you do, which is normal to you, to people like me is magic voodoo. You've all got the gift of influencing a business model and influencing a boardroom so much more than I would suspect the average CFO. But the opportunity for you to be listened to more is so much within your gift than, than I suspect a lot of you necessarily do. It's good to know from a financial perspective that the information or the input that we're having into CFO's activities is actually more than productive. His interaction with his uh, CFO's that he's obviously had over his business career and interesting to see that he saw that as a very valuable part of his business life. I believe that the opportunity of you shaping a business model in your seat in a boardroom or your seat in a team is greater than the sales director, greater than any idiot in my marketing because I was one of them and anyone else that tries to sit there and say I know I can add more to this business. It's not about company manuals or inductions, it's not about having a dress down day or it's not about other normal forms of a healthy dynamic corporate culture. It's just about being dynamic, being succinct and being honest and direct with people. In finance that's all you need.